when performing this technique, pay attention to the following errors. First, do not try to perform the technique on your straight legs. This way, the opponent will easily drive you out of your balance. Make sure you get really down, knees at 90 degrees, and back is straight. This way, you will fight him well. Next, when getting down, do not step away from him. Step into him. This is a much better position. Now, when dealing with his knee, do not block it like this. He will break through your block. Also, do not just put your hand out there. He will break through it as well. Meet his knee with counter strikes. That way, you will block him effectively. Don't forget to deliver the relaxing hit. Next. After you blocked his forearm, and before you went with the lock on his wrist, make a step forward. It's very important. Why? If you do it like this, his elbow is loose, while you need it to be at your chest. If it is loose, he can take it away. When you're making a step in, one, two, and you're closing the lock, the elbow is naturally right at your chest. So remember that part. Now, about this lock. Very frequently, you're driving him down and he doesn't go. There are two major reasons for that. First, you did not bring your elbows together. If the elbows are not together, he can fight it. Bring your elbows together, it is much firmer. Second, do not try to fight him in front of him. This way, his hand is pretty strong, and also he can attack you with his other hand. When you grab him, make a step behind his back. That way, he won't be able to fight you. You will easily drive him down. On the ground, grab his wrist very quickly. Place your thumbs on his knuckles, not on his fingers. Knuckles are just below them, ideally between the knuckles of the middle, ring and little fingers. Bend the wrist backward, pull him hard. Two arrows. Don't turn towards his head, turn away from it. Don't let him keep his elbow bent, otherwise he may try to fight it. To prevent him from fighting, bend the wrist backward, pull his arm up. Do the turn in this position. One, two, three. Do not land hard on his head, that is not necessary. What is necessary is to keep his arm in control. Grab the wrist over here from this side to prevent him from straightening his arm and from saving it like this. Drive the wrist behind his back towards his head. Also, do not let the elbow loose, because if you do, he'll escape like this. Apply pressure to the elbow with the weight of your body while driving his wrist towards his head, behind his back. This way, he won't be able to escape, he will be under your complete control.